Hello everyone, I am Deepak, your friend. I just recently finished one of the awesome book and now it is one of the best book I have read till now which is Atomic Habits written by James Clear. James Clear, James Clear is one of the world known expert in habits and such a marvelous and beautiful book written uh, by James. Uh, I, the first time when my mentor recommended me this book I was actually thinking how can someone write this many content uh, about habit w what all we can write is around uh, 270 pages book and it took me around two to three weeks to finish this book uh, but but by the time I started this book and I had completed first page <coughs> it attracted me a lot you uh, the content written is awesome amazing and uh, you you cannot leave it behind without finishing this book and uh, after finishing this book uh, and implementing it around whenever whatever whatever i was reading i was trying to implement because this book is very practical and it's not only motivational or theoretical but uh, very practical it uh, james gives so many ways and options um, and practical approach how we can implement the lessons or principles told in this book uh, james talks about uh, talks very scientifically about how our brain works how the habits are formed in our life uh, why we we get we get bored with uh, good habits and how the bad habits are so attracting uh, and it, it gives all the solutions as well with the problem so really an amazing book <coughs> Uh, the famous quote of this book is that you don't rise up to your goals, but you actually fall fall down up to your to your system. So, uh, uh, as James says, is that the difference between successful people and and uh, uh, common people is that uh, it's not that successful people are doing something extraordinary, something amazing. It is that uh, the differentiator is their habit, what they do every day. That's actually distinguished. Uh, so it is very, very important to have a very powerful uh, ha habits, which actually defines what you do every day. And James says that it's not very big habits, but that small, small habits of every day actually makes a difference in your life. And uh, uh, James says is that uh, you should just try to improve 1% every day and you will be 37 times better by the end of the year. Wow, that's amazing. And that's what I have started my journey, improving myself 1% every day. <clears throat> so uh, James also talk, talks about uh, why, how people say is that uh, someone is successful because of, the, of, because of his inborn talent, uh, because of his genes, or uh, because he's specially gifted. Uh, even though that matters, uh, but it matters only 5% whereas 95% contribution is of habit and that's what when you compare uh, people who, who are near to success and success it is just that habit differentiated and uh, James talks about uh, people many people try to implement the habits forcefully with their willpower and that's where they fail whereas what we should do is that we should try to implement habit with the identity the first thing which we need to change for implementing any habit or continuing any good habit is to change your identity for example like if i want to lose uh, weight i want to get skinny uh, so just by just having diets workouts will actually not help what will help is that my identity if i change my identity that i am a healthy person uh, i always eat healthy uh, so whenever something junks comes or I have an option uh, between eating a junk food and a healthy food my identity will say is that eat healthy food because that actually that uh, that response to the healthy food actually give, uh, makes a vote cast and vote for my identity being a healthy and fit person and the same goes with the workouts like if you want to uh, if you are getting bored uh, someday not feeling like going to work out uh, at that time your subconscious mind says is that you are a fit person you are a healthy person and that's where you you internally get the motivation 
uh, even after that boredom to go to the gym and do your workouts so that's why identity matters most uh, not actually not actually your uh, uh, defined principles so change your identity before you uh, implement anything <coughs> uh, after that uh, uh, james also actually talks about uh, the motivation uh, the so word so called word that you should be always motivated uh, but james is that motivation can keep you running for some time but not always because motivation some other time gets evaporated whereas if you design if you redesign your system if you redesign your environment where you live uh that will help you to be always uh always say motivated or always uh always following that uh, principle the uh, always following your habit so in moment we need to be very watchful careful uh, about our environment which actually uh, makes what we do and what we not do in our day to day life james talks about uh, how we can control our life how we can control ourselves by implementing good habits and that's why he has actually divided uh, the habit pattern uh, he, he talks very scientifically and logically as well he has told that uh, there are four phases of any habit the first is the cue uh, then the craving and then the response and reward so <clears throat> to get any so for the first time whenever we do, do anything there is a cue cue is like a trigger so you see a trigger or a trigger comes to you and you then gets a craving uh, you have some assumption or perception about that cue that uh, for example uh, if someone is watching pizza for the first time he has not ever tasted uh, he feels it a uh, craving that it might be tasted it's looking yummy or he might have heard from people many people that pizza taste awesome so uh, with that craving he eats that and uh, the response is eating and uh, then after that he tastes it's awesome amazing and that's why he's uh, he gets that reward and that which is because it because the reward is satisfying uh, he he um, uh, his brain records that this habit is actually very rewarding very satisfying and that's why this actually forms into a habit that whenever next time you see any pizza or you heard about pizza anywhere you get that craving that i want that pizza and that's how so these four stages so we have to be very watchful if we want to build good habits our cue should be obvious our our craving should be very attractive our response should be very easy it should be very easy uh, like if <clears throat> like nowadays you can order pizza online which is very fast just 2 minutes and it arrives within 30 minutes whereas if you suppose if you don't have an online system and uh, you actually need to travel uh, around 30 minutes 40 minutes to go to that pizza shop and then order uh, i think uh, you will be actually eating less pizza than nowadays as you are ordering online so your response needs to be easy very simple and uh, if you <coughs> and the reward which is actually the end phase uh, uh, it should be uh, very satisfying and that's how if you if you design your good habits uh, well, uh, eating pizza is not a good habit actually so i'll just give you an example because it, it is easy to understand so good habit should have cue very obvious that triggers so whatever like a uh, trigger suppose uh, i want to build a good habit of reading the books every day so uh, so depending on time and design the book should be visible to me so like if uh, suppose if i read book uh, just before sleeping my my book should be kept just beside my bedroom or somewhere that i see that and as i see as that cue comes or triggers comes in in front of me i i get that craving to get started and actually the different the differentiator between why we we take so much time to implement good habit or why it is so difficult to get into good habits and why it is so easy very tempting to get bad habits is that bad habit actually gives uh, makes you satisfied immediately whatever you do you, you take any bad habits and you will see the rewards are very satisfying and immediate whereas if you see good habits you don't get rewards so fast so immediately it takes long time for example 
like <coughs> again let's take the example of eating pizza uh, you eat pizza it tastes so yummy whereas if you want to eat broccoli it doesn't give you so much of yumminess so you don't get rewarded immediately but uh, eating broccoli throughout lifetime where compared to eating pizza throughout lifetime you actually uh, pay the cost of good habit now but gets the reward later whereas uh, the rewards of bad habit is immediate whereas you pay a lot more cost in the long run so what we need to do is that we need to make sure that somehow that good habit needs to be rewarded immediately and james james talks about beautifully in this book and uh, whatever i'm talking about uh, there is a very very depth about each and every point each and every topic and for that you will have to read this book uh, so if uh, james also talks about uh, how to break the bad habits and uh, <clears throat> that's why he says that the for for breaking the bad habits uh, the cue should be invisible uh, your craving should be unattractive your response should be very hard very difficult and uh, the reward absolutely unsatisfying so uh, let's let's take an example like if you want to uh, if you want to break your bad habit of watching too much tv uh, so what you do is that uh, you can uh, whenever you watch tv uh, you unplug the the cable uh, you you hide your remote somewhere so that uh, or not hide at least keep it in some place that you need to put a lot of effort to take out that remote or plug the tv or to make it more difficult uh, what you can do is that uh, keep take your tv and put it in some corner just unplug everything and whenever you want you need to watch tv you have to plug everything so so your response actually becomes very difficult so uh, that's the way he uh, he he takes he takes so many examples uh, and uh, he has also uh, dedicated two pages on uh, how to quit smoking uh, he took exam he 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 has given multiple different ways how people can do that and actually it actually amazed me uh, and it, it i had also also put that on my status few days back uh, so in that way uh, you will get so many practical ways from this book how to implement good habit uh, or how to bed, uh, how to break bad habits and there is he also shares how we should be installing new habits so to install new habits we have to be very very uh, careful any habit has a start point okay so uh, for example to uh, doing gym or workout the start point is uh, putting up the shoes putting up your uh, warm up clothes and go out or say even if you are doing from home okay uh, so so th- that that entry point needs to be very easy that entry point needs to be just for 2 minutes that's why he says 2 minutes rule so uh, start your habit easy don't be very harsh on yourself don't start very big or very difficult just start very simple very easy 2 minutes habit and then as he says that because new habit habit needs to be first installed before it is mastered so install that habit very easy which you can do like this there is no no much of pressure talent is required to start in habit so start with that uh, and if you want to start start with existing habit for example i started doing push ups so uh, i already had a habit of uh, preparing my lunch just before the office uh, just before 12 o'clock so what i says and then i had a break uh, i had 30 minutes of attending my meeting and then start my lunch so in between that so as soon as i finish my lunch i decided that i am going to do at least 30 push ups uh, before my my lunch starts so i was having a, an existing habit and then one more existing habit and i installed my new habit in between that just before or after of any existing habit and uh, that's how and you need to very very clear very very transparent that when you are going to do the habit and where you are going to do the habit it should not be very vague it should be transparent crystal clear uh, so if you know the time if you know the place you have decided that it becomes very obvious and easy to get started with your habit <coughs> and uh, when you are installing any any new habit make sure that you are not missing that twice suppose you don't go to work out on monday make sure that you are anyhow going on tuesday because if you do it back to back two days you are starting with a new habit of not going to the gym so uh, 
uh and even if like some days it happens that you are very busy you are not able to do that for example i'll take my example that uh last week was very uh, very tired tiring and i was very busy with multiple different things so uh I, on one particular day i was not having at all a time uh, there was an event i had to catch so what i did is that i went to garden that's a, that's where the place is decided i read my book after office in the garden place and time decided so i was not having time that 30 minutes time of going there and sitting and reading so it, it is actually 1 hour so what i did is just i went from here to the garden just sat sat there for 2 minutes just read my one page and came back so it it, it need, need not to be perfect it need not, need not to be mastered but you need to make sure that you are giving signal to your brain that you are not missing on your habit so the, like this there are so many so many practical ways so many basic principles science has been told by james clear he talks about how we can manage our distractions he uh, he he put so much of uh, emphasis on uh, having an accountability partner to which you are accountable for completing your habits uh, how your small small atomic habits compounds to to make you a successful person to make your everyday happy and eventually your life happy and he doesn't says that uh, you need to be having so many uh, good habits but you need to have some key habits uh, like for me uh, reading books uh, doing workouts uh, following my diet these are the three key habits in my life and if i am doing these three habits in on any particular day my days goes awesome and if i am my my every day is going awesome my life is going to be awesome he talks about so many different things like habit tracking how you should be tracking everything that's where it gives uh, a signal to your subconscious mind that you are progressing because good habit doesn't give you uh, results very soon so your tracking actually gives you signal that oh you are improving you are doing something better uh, he talks about how uh, people are bound to get bored with any habit anything it you are bound to get bored but even even after getting bored if you can a uh, continue that habit that's what is actually a symbol of you being successful you are going to on that successful part uh, so he also talks about <coughs> the the will will power versus system many people says that oh man your will power is very strong that's why you are able to continue with this uh, but actually it's not about will power because uh, if you are forcing yourself with the will power for doing anything uh, your will power may break any time but but if you redesign your system if you redesign your environment uh, to implement that habit that's going to be very easy and that's where you actually enjoy you don't feel that uh, that i am not i am not eating that tasty food i am so much putting uh, restriction on me uh, is that i am going to enjoy my life uh, but you need to re- redesign your thinking redesign your environment and that's where actually uh, association comes in picture uh james says that uh, you should be associated with the people where your desired behavior is a normal behavior for them for example if you want to lose weight if you want to work out every day if you want to follow your diet every day you should be associated with the people or a group where it is a normal behavior so and that because if you don't have that good association uh, you will pull down you you won't, you will get demotivated after some time because you don't see uh, similar people around you doing the same uh, and our our brain uh, is actually very social and if it is not socially accepted uh, you feel that you somewhere you're not doing right and that's where you are bound to quit your habit so so many multiple ways so many different tips so many different uh, uh, uh p- powerful secrets uh, james has put in this atomic habits book and this is this is this is one of this is uh, one of the very powerful book i have read in my life and uh, it's not specifically for any particular area this can be implemented by a student by a person who is doing job a person who is having business or a person having his self employed job self business <coughs> everyone can get benefited uh, they can improve their life uh, by with this book so this is uh, i i would absolutely recommend suggest this book for every one of you so please read this book and uh, let me know uh, what are your reviews what is your experience and if you come across some awesome uh, ways to implement something please feel free to share it with me and i will try to implement that in my life with that uh goodbye for now 
We, I, I have recently started one of the very good book uh, on how to manage your money, how to do total makeover of your money. And I'll be soon coming back with that review. Thank you so much. Bye.